Hi everyone, welcome back to Married to Reselling. I'm Simon. I'm Faye. And together we're a reselling couple. And this is our first video of the new year, 2023. Uh, we've been busy with this and that. As, Ill. As, as with everyone, yeah. Ill, uh, Christmas, all the rest of it. Picked up the camera and we thought we'd show you some auction stuff. I bid on um, a fair bit of sort of what I would call house clearance items. So they're kind of like boxes of bits of everything, aren't they? Um, so like, like crockery, cutlery, breakables, ornamental things. Um, and I always sort of go low, especially if we haven't been to the auction to view the lots. We tend to do it online um, a bit 50 50 of the time, don't we? Like, we haven't made it down there this year yet um, for viewing. Um, and I won a few bits that I was really happy about, and I wanted to show you. And also, after we've shown this, we are going out because we won some more, which we're picking up tomorrow, and that will be later in this video. If you can hear a funny noise, it's because Lena's on this chair. She just loves licking the chair. So, yeah, apologies for that. I'm going to show you two lots that I picked up. One of those lots was, so our auction has different rooms and we sort of have our own names for the rooms, but they're kind of different theme, aren't they? There's like the electrical room, we call it. There's like the retail room and then there's like the house clearance, the antique room. And um, one of the lots I'm going to show you should have been in sort of the house clearance antique room, but it was actually in the retail room. Uh, so that could be why I won it quite cheaply. Um, I paid £16 plus £3.20 hammer and £3.36 premium, including VAT. And there's quite a bit here. Mm. We have sold something already. <laughs> All of this. Oh, yeah. All of this is listed, so um, Simon will put in, in a sec, the item that's sold. This was in the auction bundle and I was going to throw it away because uh, it was a bit sort of worn in places. Um, but it's quite a cute little set and I don't think Greta would appreciate me throwing it away. So I thought I'd recycle it. Uh, and it sold for 9 99 plus post and it's going to Japan. So what did you think of that one? Next, I'm just going in any particular order, what's closest to me is this mug. This isn't probably something I would pick up from a charity shop. However, I should think some of you may well do. I don't know. Um, there's a lot to learn about mugs and I can't, I can't keep it all in there. Uh, but it's a Royal Botanic Gardens Q. It's the Rose or Rosa it's called. And I have listed that for 8.99 plus post. Another mug is this one. When I saw it, I thought, oh, okay. It's a Denby mug. There we go. And I pick up Denby quite a lot. Uh, but when I had a look on eBay, there was a lot for sale and not as many had sold. And the ones that had sold have gone really cheap. So I'm actually going to either donate this or put it back in an auction lot. Because we've got some stuff we want to take down to the auction for this mm -hmm. week. Um, it's a nice-ish mug. Uh, good quality. It says South East and it's got Royal Brighton Pavilion, uh, Scotney Castle. Uh, Seven Sisters Sussex, but yeah, it's just not worth the time. I've probably bypassed these a lot in charity shops. I have one myself, a red one, uh, but it's like a, it's called For Life is the brand. There we go. It's like a little stumpy teapot. You see them in sort of garden centers and um, delis, like if you go in for a cup of tea, because there's like a little basket and you have your fruit teas in there. And, I just thought they're a bit of ten a penny, but apparently not. They do sell really well. There's quite a few that have sold from America. Uh, this is for sale for $17.99. I've actually reduced the price. I've had a lot of interest in it, and I'm convinced it's going to sell today. Uh, but it's plus post. Next up is a Disney mug. Right, this is ceramic. Looks like a mug, doesn't it? Apparently, it's a travel mug. It's supposed to come with a silicone lid. Now, I wouldn't be able to be trusted taking that out in the car or on a walk. It is a proper mug. Yeah. I mean, that to me is anything but a travel mug. <laughs> yeah. But you drop that, it's smashed. Oh yeah. Nice mug though. It is, and they sell really well. They sell for about twenty four ninety nine. It's Mary Poppins. It says it on the side, and it's got practically perfect in every way on that side. So minus the silicon lid, it's not worth as much. So I've listed it for. $14.49 plus post. We got there. These are 
a Pilco made in France. It says it on the base. There you go. Cheese making mold strainers, obviously. <laughs> Both in the shape of a heart. Uh, when I saw these, when we bought the lot home, I thought, okay, um, these are part of something and the rest is missing. But apparently not. These are as they are, cheese yeah, you, strainers. You'd think they'd be like in a on a dipping plate and they'd be for like olives to like drain off the juice or feta. You know, yeah. like when you get like feta in, in yeah. water. So I was quite surprised when I saw those. I just um, typed it on eBay, a Pilco heart, and loads came up. You can get them in different sizes. You can get like big ones. Um, so I have listed those for $21.99 plus post. Uh, fingers crossed on those. I have had some interest and I have reduced the price and I have sent out offers. So fingers crossed. Um, also in there was this Le Creuset jug. There we go. 700 ml. It's beige, it's quite a rare colour apparently. Uh, so that is also listed at 19.99 plus post. Another jug, got all the jugs here. It, this one is Stylecraft by Midwinter, because I know that because it says it on the bottom. There you go. And it's beige, but it's got a polka dot red top and handle, and that is called Domino Red. I think they do Domino Blue as well. Uh, but this, again, is quite rare. There's, there are Domino Red items for sale on eBay, but none of the bigger jugs. Mm, nice jug. Thanks. If you didn't have so many jugs already, <laughs> yeah, I bet you'd have kept that one. I would have, or I'd have given it to my mum because she loves <laughs> jugs as well. Uh, this is for sale at $24.99. This one is cross-listed to Etsy, as um, are the cheese moulds and the Le Creuset. This one's not listed yet. Uh, I've done the draft for it. I haven't taken a picture. It's a beef dripping pot, and it's Pearsons of Chesterfield. Had their stuff before. I've actually got a utensil pot, I think it yeah, is, for sale. Yeah, it's a celery pot or something, but yeah. It's yeah. Just... I've had enough, I've had beef dripping before, I think. Mm. Uh, they're not worth that much. Um, I've listed it, I'm gonna list it for 9.99 plus post. And this was in there as well. It's a Peter Rabbit mug, brand new in the box, which we like. And that is currently listed at 13.49. There's not much money in it. Uh, there are a lot for sale. Um, let's see what happens, plus post. I got excited about these. I showed my mum the other day and she was like, oh, she didn't like them at all. Uh, but they're a bit different. They are, the brand is called Subtil and they're made in Portugal. It says it there. And they are corn on the cob holders or sweet corn holders. And there's four of them. One, mm. two, three, they're very shiny. Four. Now, some of their stuff goes really, really well. It's very popular, goes for quite high prices. I could not find any sweet corn dishes by Subtil the same as this. There are some, there are sweet corn dishes, but none that look like the sort of on the cob like that. So I've listed these for $39.99. I notice you've added majolica to the, as a keyword. So that's like the sort of raised yeah. kind of ceramic work, isn't it? Which I don't know, is it? It's not a brand, is it? It's a style. It's a right? style. It's from Mallorca, I think. Yeah. Um, but other people have Majolica in their title for subtil products, so I copied. <laughs> uh, yeah, they're thirty nine ninety nine, and they are in our Etsy store too. I'm ho hoping the right buyer will come along because they are they are a bit different. These are very retro in style. These are Blue Harmony by Barrett's of Staffordshire in England. There's three sort of side plates, cake plates. One broke somewhere and that's oh. they've ended up in the auction. I thought you were going to say you broke it on the way back from the auction. You didn't yeah. go alone. Yeah, I kept it quiet. I slung it out of the window on the way home so you didn't know. <laughs> he wouldn't litter like that. Okay. <laughs> Um, these are currently listed for 14 49 plus post. Uh, some are like the terrines and that sort of thing with this style do well, like the bigger items, but uh, side plates, there's a few for sale, so I didn't go high because I just want to sell them. This is the last thing out of that tub. 
uh, is some Copeland Spode Italian breakfast cups, saucers, and little side plates. It's the perfect little breakfast set for a couple. There we go. And they are currently listed for $29.99. Again, some of the um, Copeland Spode stuff does do well. Butter dishes, terrines, big sort of soup dishes, uh, but little sets like this also do well. I may have been optimistic at $29.99. I'm gonna give it a couple of days. Actually, I'm not because it's still in drafts. No wonder it hasn't sold. <laughs> I was just going to say, <laughs> do you call those trios? What's the name for like one saucer, one side plate and one cup? I don't know. Maybe it is a trio. We have sold them before like that. I'm sure they're called trios because I'm just looking at your draft and I can see it's not in I'll let you know. Let us know in the comments. Am I right? Is it trio? It's something like that. Oh yeah, trio cup saucer. Oh, okay. check you out. You can move on to brick or brack if you want. Thanks. <laughs> yeah, so that's how you sell them as a, as a trio. As a trio. So I would do one trio with two quantity. You don't list them as two cups, two saucers, two plates. List ah. it as a trio with two quantity available with a multi-buy discount. There we go. What a team. What a team. So yeah, that's why they haven't sold because they're not actually listed. They haven't taken the photos yet. But they're as a pair of trios. Now we know I had listed it for twenty nine ninety nine. So I might go nineteen ninety nine for one trio and then do like fifteen percent off if they buy two. We'll go higher because basically, like, not the postage off. Twenty. So if there's nineteen ninety nine. Twenty ten percent would be two pounds. You want to knock like four pounds off basically. So yeah, twenty ten percent. Twenty percent. Teamwork makes a dream work, so, people. So how many different items have we got? What's the cost price per sort of thing? Bundle? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and, and the one that sold, 12. 12. How much was it? Uh, it was, I'll tell you, £1.88 an item. Well, pound eighty eight per listing. So, yeah. Not one eight 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 nine. So all, all the four one eighty eight. Did you count two trios? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Yeah. One eighty eight. No, I didn't. This is the one that sold. <laughs> yeah, thirteen. Times up by twelve. Multiplied by thirty. Divided by thirty. One pound seventy four. <laughs> Just went down. Boom. <laughs> yeah. So that was. That's that, pretty good. I was pleased with that. Mm. And uh, on to the next one. Well, yeah, I was just going to sort of talk about auctions quickly because if you don't, if you've not been to your local auction or or you're not sort of sure what it's about, I think a lot of people that haven't been to an auction think you've got to go there on the day and wave your hand around and then scratch your nose and accidentally bid ten grand on something that you haven't got ten grand to spend on. Uh, but it's not like that at all. Um, if you're sort of curious and you have any questions, just ask us, message us on Instagram. But you can go along and you can just put paper bids in. So it's really easy that you just get, a, uh, they just have pre-printed uh, paper bids. You join the auction, so you just sign up uh, at their reception. They'll give you a number. You just put your number on the paper and you look around. Everything's got a lot number and you just put your hammer price so they're going to add on that and their auction fee, but that will usually be displayed in reception and around the auction of what that is. So generally we sort of work on like, depends whether we're bidding online or not. If we're bidding online, it's a bit more. Yeah, um, but if you fee, times everything by one and a half, you'll be, you'll be really, really safe. So something's a tenner. If you bid a tenner, you'll end up paying 15 and that's really, really safe. It, it, all the auction centers uh, uh, vary. Uh, but if you do that as a as a sort of guide, you'll be you'll be fine. Um, and yeah, you just pop your paper bids in, and then um, you'll get an email if you sell something. Kind of how it usually works. I guess some auction centres might do it a bit differently, but uh, yeah, you don't have to go and stand there and wave. So uh, give it a go and let us know if you do. Okay, on to the next lot from the same auction. Now this is Hornsey. If you watch our videos or if you know us or if you follow us on Instagram, we do pick up Hornsey crockery when we see it. It's got a little special place in my heart because we had it growing up and I actually have bought pieces uh, for ourselves, haven't I? Like the gravy jug and mm. saucer. 
Uh, my mum still uses some of it now, but most of it she smashed in the wheelie bin about 20 years ago. <laughs> right, so we paid £16.94 for this lot. And this was in the correct room. I'm surprised that we got it for this price. It's Hornsey Contrast. So it's this brown, it's, I don't think it's black. It's like a gloss brown, isn't it? And a white stripe. It's stoneware. Might be black, you know, that stripe. It is hard, it's so reflective. Yeah, I think it probably is black. There we go, it's Hornsey on the bottom. Some of the Hornsey patterns, there's so many, and some of it is really rare, does say the actual design on the bottom. Um, What's our favourite um, Hornsey? Saffron, because that's the one we had growing up. Heirloom does pretty well, doesn't it? Uh, we find, you're, you're bound to find heirloom... Saffron. Saffron Bronte and this one. Um, but there was a, I saw a pink one recently in a charity shop. It was lovely. Do you remember? It was all mm. laid out on that table like it was going to be used. Mm. Um, but they wanted so much money for it. It was ridiculous. And you can, they actually do like tiles and like pictures that people hung on the wall. And if you find those, they're worth loads of money. Um, it's a, actually a Hornsey at least one, but I'm a member of uh, Hornsey Group Collectors Group on Facebook. So if you're interested in learning about Hornsey or you've got some Hornsey, perhaps join the Greeks. It's, it's very interesting. But for uh, out of this lot, we got how many cups? Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six cups. Yeah, that's different that's size, a different. I think it was for oh, that. Five. Oh uh, yeah. Five saucers. And then the possibly no, doesn't really go. All right. So no, another saucer. That could be for a gravy bowl yeah, or something. I'd say so. It feels different, doesn't it? It feels thicker. Yeah. A cream jug. Cream jug. That doesn't really fit on that saucer, so top of that. A sugar bowl or honey or something, whatever you do with that. I'd say it's probably sugar. And then there's two like cereal bowls, dessert bowls, three side plates, very odd, very odd numbers, aren't they? Yeah. I think one, one set's gone, isn't it? Three uh, dinner plates, and then these are nice. Should I hold one? Yeah, take that one. Uh, coffee, tea, and sugar. Sugar. Uh, so, so how much was that set? Oh, I could smell coffee really strong, is it? Yeah, these have been in oh, the dishwasher. Yeah. <laughs> these have been in the dishwasher as well. Oh, wow, yeah. It's really strong, isn't it? Mm. These were... Let's keep my nose in there. Six... My coffee's all the way over there, I can't reach it. You've got a problem. You've got an addiction there. <laughs> oh, God. He's got his coffee. That's better. And the new mugs he got for Christmas. I've got cream on my nose. Oh, dear. Yeah. Right. Continue. Back in the room, sixteen ninety four. So should we count? We're going to list these as a trio. Or yeah, of course. So one, one. two, three. Yeah, that's four. That was the sugar and the cream. Four, which is the cups and saucers. Yeah. Five for the side plates. Six for the bowls. Probably just throw that other saucer in. Yeah. So six. Six. So that works out at £2.82 a listing That's collection. No, I'm really pleased with that. Yeah. Um, oh yeah, and these were just some random stuff that were in um, with the other set that I'm probably going to put back in the auction with like a job lot of stuff. And go to the mug and yeah. we've got a few other breakers and we going in. Yeah, so there's this cup, no saucer. It says on the bottom, Seren Solemes something 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 if you know anything about that and we shouldn't put it in the auction come in quickly quickly yeah before we go and this was probably lovely if it had the teacup with it mm. but there's no teacup and it says del rio saladum handmade spain i don't know you spoke spanish yeah it didn't it sounded a bit more middle eastern though didn't it <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh yeah and but they're clearly not a set that's a shame but yeah they'll go back in um so yeah i was really really pleased with those uh did you want to 
that day? Uh, oh yeah, so we also got some books. They've been on a whole bunch of books. They were all architect books. No, they weren't. Oh, for real. Archaeology books. Oh yeah. Um, and I don't really need to show them. So, but the reason that we're sort of talking about them in this video is, so they blindfolded on just a bunch of books. Uh, we have no idea what the value of them was or anything like that. Uh, we got home and scanned them. It was about 10 books, wasn't there? Yeah, when he says scan them, he means we scanned them in on the Amazon seller app, just scanned the barcodes to see what they were currently selling for. Yeah, on, on Amazon. On Amazon. Which is where we didn't tend to sell the majority of, of books. Um, and yeah, lo and behold, they were all sort of coming up like 50p pound, but then two of them um, were sort of 20, 25 pound books. And we paid for five, that lot. Five pound 88. Yeah, so, so you know, that's always worth a gamble. So if you can get something low, just put in a low bid, um, you never know. Um, and you know, if it doesn't work out, even if it costs too much, no. donate, donate to charity, someone else can benefit. Yeah, so we're gonna donate those books to charity. And two of the, the, like the two good books that we got are already on their way into Amazon as we speak. So they'll be sold FBA. And um, yeah, it paid off. Mm. So we're off to the auction tomorrow. That will be following up in a moment. See how we do. So stuff sold, I've picked it out already for you. Do you wanna see? Yes. Okay, this surprised me. It was a beef dripping pot. I've wrapped them all up already. Um, so you can take them out in the barn and pack them. But this one sold really quickly and it sold for 9.99 plus posts. Then these two Copeland Spode Italian Breakfast Cup Trios. Yeah. Um, they sold on offer for £15 each plus postage. So yeah, so you had them on at 20 with a 15% uh, 20% multi buy, yeah, which would have taken it to 32 for both, yeah, plus post. And someone offered 30 plus post, yeah, within a couple of hours. So I was happy to take it. Mm. And then the little stumpy or stump teapot, the yellow one for life, that one uh, that sold for 17.99 plus post. Woo! Woo! So I'm just going to go to the auction to grab those two bits, two lots that we won, and I will, or me and Faye, will show you what we got. But first... up and ready to take back to Faye see what she's got it's a random box so we got two lots I think we said earlier uh, two lots one was mine and one was Faye's uh, looking forward to having a look We got one lot each, as I said, a moment ago in the car, I think. I don't know where I was when I said that. You were talking in the car? I don't know. 
can't remember, I'll find out when I edit. Faye got a box of stuff. Oh, I got a box of stuff. Who do you want to do first, yours? Because that was the order of the rooms. Oh, okay. So shall I read out what your type, what yours is? Yeah. Uh, so Simon bid on a box containing 15 Hammerstar 75125 3D tripods. You paid £14 plus hammer VAT of £2.80 and a premium of £2.94. We did the maths, £1.33. Uh, and here they are. So I hadn't seen them. I like did a sort of basic search for hammer tripod 75125 or something I think I did. And it was a bit, bit sort of all over the place because I wasn't exactly sure which numbers I was using. I just had one picture to go from. Um, and I've got no idea in terms of like, were they relevant? Ooh, there it is. Were they relevant? Were they like old technology? What's the reason they're in the auction? Are they used? Are they new? Who knows? It's got a 3D tilt head though, so that's good. I always look for a 3D tilt head. And a quick release plate. Yeah, another one. And also, I've just noticed, it's in the actual um, yeah. manufacturer's box. Yeah, nice. Not just some, some random box that have been shoved in. Yeah. So that's a good sign. So, and then getting them home, I just scanned them into Amazon. You did. And um, I thought, so I paid 132 each. 133, um, come on. Yeah, I wasn't sure. Like, I just sort of thought it'd be a case of if I get them cheap enough, then it'd be worth it. So we did get them kind of cheap enough. Yeah. And let's have a look on the Amazon app. 25 in camera, over 16,000 yeah. reviews. Good reviews. So that's the rank, so that's a really fast selling item. And new price, 17.49. So we will have some of that. Obviously I need to check, have a look at them, make sure they're not I don't know, Del Boy Specials, water damaged, or like, you know. Missing their, th their plate thing. Yeah. How do you feel about your purchase? Happy, yeah, happy with that. Send them off, probably just send them in that box. Yeah. And um, Quick, well. quick win. They could be selling before the auction next weekend. Yeah, hopefully. Uh, so let's have a look at what you've got. Okay. Your box of randomness. So I bid on a load of items this weekend, but I did really low bids like the day before the auction. And I've just thought if I win them for not much, then I'm happy, but I don't want to be doing bidding wars with people. I'm staying away from the auction on the actual day. And I just waited to see if an invoice came through. And although I must have bid on over 20 lots, I only won one and I was a little bit disappointed, wasn't I? Mm. Um, but I think it looks good. So do you want to read out the title? Yeah, so this was described as box containing cased fish knife and fork set, plus quantity of Hornsey and Finnish crockery, plus three books to include a credit to the school and John Halifax. Ready? Yeah. So oh, and that was, did we say that was eight pounds plus 168, so 9.68. So this was on the top, nice mould covered, <laughs> scrapbook album and it's mold inside as well however how do you know it's mold and not cocaine well it could be um and this is a photo album of really old photos and postcards here we have places around the world uh i don't know where that is astrid park ghent and then there was a load in here this is like must be from the war, I'm guessing. Um, but it was building, I think, railways. Hindenburg Line, German Front Line. I think it's fair to say it's uh, quite a niche pickup. It is a very niche pickup. It's very dirty niche oh. pickup. That's going Don't put there. it near my stuff. <laughs> Right, into the stuff I know about. Uh, so there's Hornsey. This is Hornsey Saffron. This is the Old Faithful I know all about. This is a dinner plate. Should be able to get seven or eight pounds for that, hopefully. But then they also do saffron in this green colour. And I don't know how much I get for those. I've not sold them before. Mm. So that's good. And then this is Hornsey. This is a pattern I've not picked up before. It's tapestry. I know that because it says it on the bottom. 
We've not had tapestry before, I don't think. No, I don't recognise it. No. Um, some books, a, sh a credit to the school by Alice Chatwin. And in it, it says, Loxley Wesleyan Methodist Sunday School presented to Bessie Pennington for regular attendance on the 29th of December, 1931. Wonder if anyone gets commended for regular attendance at Sunday school nowadays. I doubt it. I don't think they probably do, do they? We have a Arabia Finland Fin Crystal Apollo candle holder. Now, interestingly, I didn't know this was in here, and this, there was a lot at the auction for these on their own, and I bid on them, but the yeah, there's the label. I don't think this has ever been taken out of the box. It's probably a wedding present or an anniversary present or something. Um, so yeah, I don't know how much I'm gonna list that one for. Then I've got the vintage fish knife and fork sets. Mm. I had a quick look a minute ago for any type of markings, but there aren't any. Just got to be careful with knives, haven't you? Yeah. On eBay, so like we'll call it like fish cutlery set or whatever, and you know, because it's using the word knife, oh, okay. we always get pulled up on that. EPNS 79, so that's. Electric. Silver plate? Oh, yeah. Don't quote e me on that. Electro plated silver stainless nickel. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Check us out. Yeah. Learning. That's what uh, you watch this channel for, isn't it? <laughs> Learning little gems. <laughs> and then we've got Copenhagen porcelain made in Denmark stoneware cup. Uh, that is blank. This one is Von 5555, five, 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 did that say? S555. Five, 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 oh, something right. Fran, Sweden, Annika. Mm. There you go. Didn't know you needed one of those. No, and then we've got Arabia, Finland. Big chip in that. Oh yeah. Not the edible kind. Mm. This one is VDMP555 something, Sweden, Sylvia, Jubilee, something. Chip in that? Or is that just dirt around the side? I think it's just dirt. Uh, Something Ranker, made in Sweden. This, I'm guessing, goes yeah. with this. That's good. This one, Arabia, made in Finland. Uh, that go with that chipped one. I know. There that goes go. with that. Oh, no battery. Yay, Hornsey Saffron, little <laughs> side plate. Not really. Where, I mean, it's nice to see and everything, but it, uh, listing a side play like that. No, I'll put it with the other one. Isn't really worth it, is it? No, you I'll put it with the dinner. Seven or eight quid for it at, at most. Uh, this is Royal Copenhagen, Denmark. Uh, back to the Hornsey. It didn't say how many Hornsey items were in the lot, so it was a blind situation. It says a quantity of Hornsey, it says. <laughs> yes. And then we've got a load of Arabia Finland sauces. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. I don't think we've got eleven Arabia Finland cups. Was Which that... ones are they? The one with the chip in it, was it? Is that? I'm guessing. Well, it's a bit. Hmm. Well, where's the one with the chip? Uh... Oh yeah, that was it. Oh yeah. Um, some more of these. Have I shown this one? Yep, shown that one. Three of those. <clears throat> Four of those. Uh, Sweden Fontana. I'm guessing that's Fontana as well. That's that. Hang on. Yeah. Oh, I think I missed that. Nice. Ah, these are the sauces for these. Yes. So, I've got more sauces, I think, than I need. And I've got like a larger little saucery thing, maybe for a gravy boat. Mm. And then I've got lots of these. These are 
can't read that. Yeah. Well, there's more. Arabia made in Finland. Arabia. There we go. Does that go? Maybe. It does now. There's loads of them. They're all the same. Bigger, darker brown. Oh, that one's got. That, yeah, that's a, like, a pill pile. Oh, a pill pile. And these. Ah. Oh. No. <laughs> you like working in a very small area there. I know. Oh, have we oh, seen one like that yet? Yeah. No. Don't know what goes Sort of like that style, isn't it, almost? Yeah. But not. So we've got loads of odds and ends. <clears throat> and then we have this book, Lavengro Borrow. What is that for uh, special recognition of? The like Edale, though. That's near Peak District, isn't it, Edale? Mm. The Scholar, Maybe. the Gypsy, the Priest by George Borrow, author of the Bible in Spain and the Gypsies of Spain. Mm, never know. No. And John Halifax, Gentleman. And this... Zion Chapel Aftercliff commenced January the 13th, 1889, number 410, Bertha A. Heath. Received this book as a first class prize for the half year ending March the 29th, 1903. Wow. Old. That is old. There you go. Yeah. So, yeah, not bad for a tenner. I don't know what I'm going to do with all these sources. <laughs> <laughs> Someone might want them. Uh, so let us know what you thought of those lots, the ones that we showed you before and these ones. Do you buy at auction? If not, uh, what's stopping you from giving it a go? Maybe you don't have any near you or sort of not sure about the process. Buying from the auction isn't as scary as it may seem. <laughs> we hope you enjoyed the video we will be picking the winner from our fleek giveaway video we've been ill and all that sort of stuff and we had building work going on and it's just a complete nightmare so we're a few weeks behind but we are going to be picking that live this week uh, so set your notifications if you entered uh, all you had to do is comment on the video so i'll be putting all those comments in and doing some sort of spinny wheel thing the wheel. or maybe we'll like put everyone's names on a bit of paper and put a treat in one of the papers and see which one luna hunts down first <laughs> who knows but anyway we'll see you in that video we'll see you very soon Bye. Bye.